was organizing my dollhouses, right? And then my friend Wendy hit me up. Wendy's one of my best friends. We've been making videos and doing comedy together for about six years now. She's super cool, super funny, but really just a big pain in my ass. I'm accused a lot of having low tolerance, people bitching about their petty problems. But uh, try being two foot tall for about ten minutes. See if you can handle asking strangers to have to pick you up and put you on the toilet in public places. They say comparison's the killer of all joy, but I also think it helps provide perspective sometimes. Anyway, this little bitch was like, yo, Medicaid sent me the walker I needed, but it was uh, about two times too big. I'm like, yo, dude, what the hell's that got to do with me? Call him back and get a smaller one. She's like, fuck you, ho. They don't make a smaller one, and if I get anything else, they're going to charge me for it. Do you know how to modify a walker or what? I'm like, motherfucker, I've never done it before, but I'm positive I'll be good at it. So I said, fuck it, and headed down to East Gonorrhea, Ohio. What's up, bitch? I know most of y'all probably thinking a real friend would know exactly how far their friend's ass is from the ground, but I went ahead and took some measurements, see what I could do with this thing. All right, later, bitch. Typically, the elves work for Santa, but I went ahead and brought this back to Santa's workshop and started messing with it. I knew I had to whack off about seven inches of this thing, and I've been whacking off seven inches since I was about 11 years old. However, this thing is a bit tricky. I need to keep it level, straight, and it needed to be strong. She may not look like much, but she weighs about as much as a sack of concrete. I knew for the most part I could use the parts I already provided. I was going to take my pipe cutter, chop a little section of this off, chop a section of there off, and just subtract everything where it needed subtracted. On the back side, it was fine. I could use the handrail pipe, and I could just cut it off to length and then put a screw through it and put a bolt and that would keep that pipe secure because it was exactly the right diameter to go inside of it. But the front side was a little bit tricky. So I headed off to the store. Close enough, you'll do. That's the bolt. Gotcha, bitch. And I'm out. If I'm honest, I got pretty good at this thing because I uh, had to take it apart and put it back together about 85 times because I kept doing it wrong. But we got there eventually. I weight checked it as best I can. I jumped up and down on it. Not that I care if Wendy gets hurt. Just if it falls apart, I'll never hear the fucking end of it. So I sanded where it needed sanded and I cleaned all my Dago grease off of it. Now it's time to take this thing to the next level. Yep, I need you. Perfect. I know the overarching theme of my profile is frugality and if you might say that this kind of stuff's a waste of money, I'm going to tell you right now that if you don't get it, then we're never going to be friends. I spent about half an hour stress testing the shit out of it, but now it's, I think it's ready to bring back the Walker Texas Ranger. I appreciate it, but why do you put all this dumb shit on me? <laughs> be sure to give Wendy a follow on the old Instagram. I'm trying to get her to get a TikTok, but she ain't got one. We also got a hell of a good series called Smoking Crack with Comics in a Caravan. It's on YouTube. Uh, I think it's worth checking out. Anyway, I love this silly broad, and I think you will too. Oh my god! Alright, you go, girl.